Hello and welcome to the SRX. We are here in the brand new car the, for the uh, Superstar Racing Experience here at Nashville Fairground Speedway. Um, we are learning this car uh, still. I literally just bought it. Um, getting uh, Got a little bit of practice in but not much. And we're doing some unofficial racing of course here on week 13 with the new content. Which uh, I'm thankful for because I'm still uh, definitely figuring out how to get speed out of this thing. Uh, doesn't like to turn all too much, I've noticed. And uh, something else I've noticed, the brake brake bias you have to adjust in the car. It does not appear in the garage. Which is interesting. So you gotta... I've, kind of felt like so far I've really had to keep on the brakes for a lot longer than you might usually uh, get used to. One more lap. Because this thing doesn't like to go around the corners otherwise. I'm really struggling to get any speed out of it, but that's okay. Everyone's still learning. Lots of slowdown required to get this thing to turn. It reminds me of the 87s a little bit in that way through the mid corner. There's the flag. It's over. We've got an 18.8 RQ time. I know I can do better though. I mean, you can see just how inconsistent I am. It's looking like you really get a lot of speed if you just kind of hang out near the bottom line, take the shortest way around. That was my ball time best right there, a 740. Tracy is in here, uh, getting three tenths faster laps than everybody, so he's not having as much <laughs> trouble figuring it out, I guess. Me, I have no clue what we're doing. Wondering if maybe I have to be more aggressive with the throttle. I don't know. That gets it really loose. Yeah, no, I don't think that's the key. I don't know, I've been messing with the brake bias too, moving it up, moving it down. Right now I've got it a little bit lower, just trying to get some turn in the corner with the brakes, because I'm trying to get as much turn as possible. But it is a struggle. And then of course if you hit the brakes too hard, it'll spin around on you, so it's a real challenge. I'm actually not too feeling too bad about a P3 starting spot. That's better than I thought I would do, because I was feeling really slow, practicing. I think, uh... Key to a good run here for me, for now. Try and just hold my line. Try to get good runs... through the corner and out of the corner. Not letting the car get too tight. And I think it would be hard for uh, anyone to get around me. I don't know if uh, outside, or like the middle line, is going to be much of a thing, so... Just gonna try to prevent myself from overdriving and see if I can maybe pick them off one at a time if I end up even keeping up with anybody in front of me. But it was an interesting discovery to find the brake bias here uh, in the in-car adjustments. Uh, I've only seen a I watched a couple videos of people giving their first impressions. And I didn't see anyone mention that you can adjust the brake bias in the car. But I have seen people mention like, oh, there's no brake bias or steering ratio over here in the garage. Which is kind of interesting. I may or may not have just made things harder on myself by adjusting my brake bias. I don't know if I'm helping or hurting. I don't even know how this thing's going to react to a long run. But with how tight it is, I kind of don't want it to get any tighter. Another thing I did try was shifting to third. And uh, that can get you a little bit of speed through the mid corner, but I don't think it ends up being better in the long run. Here it's looking like we're on the right front, although it's not too far off. On temps, it'll be interesting to see how that develops. Not sure who we're waiting on. Oh, there's a guy that's not here. Alright, so, a little bit of a learning experience here for the SRX. Can't believe they let me get in this car, I'm not a superstar. <laughs> I just keep looking at Tracy three-tenths faster. 
already just <laughs> almost half a second faster than the next guy. That's hilarious. So, yeah, as you can see, you can't just uh, break by or anything over here. In fact, the, it's right here. Doesn't let you adjust it, though, unless you're in the car, which is kind of weird. I'm hoping I don't spin myself around. Holy cow, you think we got enough fuel? 177 laps of fuel for a 30 lap race. Yeah, that I feels mean, wasteful. God gave me a deal on this Ferrari. Yeah, I expect not. to be fighting for the podium. Expect to be fighting for the podium. I don't know how you have any ex expectations for me, Spotter. I've literally never driven this thing before. 2.6k straight the field for this unofficial race. So, no I rating impacts or safety rating impacts or anything, thank goodness. But, Race Lab still does uh, generate a straight the field for us. I have no clue what my uh, car number would be in a normal field. Maybe the number two. I know Tracy's got 8,000 I rating, so he's. <laughs> definitely, he definitely would be the one car. I might have been the number two car, so maybe I'm coincidentally accurate. I didn't paint my car yet or anything. Like I said, I literally just bought it and uh, was eager to get into a race, so I'll uh, grape it up a little <laughs> a little bit later. Add some purple. Although we kind of have like this gray and then like a faded purple already on there, just coincidentally. So that's fun. Maybe we'll learn something from Tracy watching him. I'm willing to bet this is not his first race of this car. He's probably been learning a whole lot already this week. Running this. And uh, he's a he's an expert on these short tracks, so. A guy to watch. Maybe see, like, uh, how fast the he's entering these corners. And, the air temp is 75 Fahrenheit. P3. You know, what angle. Maybe get an idea of what I need to be doing. Follow car number zero one in the inside column. Great starting spot. P three here, right behind the leader. You'll be lining up on the inside. Closed pit road is closed. Fell asleep. Looks like a first gear start. I've noticed the brakes are That's really squealy. I don't know if it matters at all to get those up. My bad. But they squeal a whole lot, I've noticed. Hopefully it's a first gear start, and I'm not going to hit the rev much sooner than I thought. Or than I think I will. I've actually brought the dash up here, which anybody can do pressing D on their keyboard by default. That'll help me see when this turns uh, red, because there's not as much of an indicator when it's time to shift on the actual board itself, so that's just a little out of the corner of my eye way to help know when to shift as I get used to driving this thing. It revs up to like 7,000 something. Let's hopefully get a good start. Green flag, green flag. Eh, I don't know. Maybe I wanted to wanted to be second gear. That was a pretty quick shift. Don't want to get loose. Crash this thing. I'm trying to remember, I need a lot of brake to get this thing to turn how I want. behind our oh never mind I was gonna say the guy behind's kind of catching up to us and now he snapped and died off the corner so suddenly we've got about a second and a half behind us Tracy's entering the middle that's very interesting that's not what I was expecting kind of getting cut down line Wait, what's happening is Tracy letting us go clear What now? You're in second place. That's why you did that. I was really hoping to watch him. It's hard to, hard to tell what he's doing in my rear view.
Cast off download. Cast off download. Cast off download. Gotta watch go out high. for that. Go high. Go high. Car inside. Clear. Go high. Oh, would... well, I think we're done, Cole. Got wheel damage. Pit lane speed limit is 35 <sighs> miles per hour. Why would you do that? Nobody did that seriously. I don't know why my mic's not connected. I don't know why you would do that. Well, I was really looking forward to learning this car. Alright, well, we got like four laps in. Alright, let's try this again then. <laughs> Uh, obviously that was not very satisfying so we're just gonna tack on attempt number two to this same video uh, we have qualified fourth for now it looks like that might stick because we got a guy that's not here and the guy that uh, pulled out in front of us from the last race that we're waiting on so uh, I think we're gonna qualify fourth this time but with a better lap hey maybe I'm getting better I don't know um, one thing I wanted to point out before we got started, we got some massive wind in here on the new weather tab that we now have. Uh, this is a good place to go to find your track temp and <laughs> the winds, which are gusting at 20 miles an hour right now. So I wonder how much that's affecting us during the corners. I don't know which direction southwest is relative to the track. <coughs> Excuse me. But uh, that's interesting. Oh, looky there. No uh, rain on the radar because <laughs> you can't get rain on oval um, in a in uh, I guess a, not official but like i racing stuff you can like do weird test drive stuff to get rain on ovals but uh, this is a cool little tab I just kind of wanted to show off you've probably seen it elsewhere if you follow uh, i racing stuff but uh, I noticed the 20 mile an hour wind so I thought that was interesting but anyway starting fourth this time and uh, hopefully nobody pulls out in front of us this time and I'll actually get to get some laps in in this car that's really all I want right now is get some clean laps in so session last lap back up and uh, let's hopefully make it more than four laps this time I think we can do that identical strength of field too by the way 2.6 K not really matters but Nothing, nothing about that really matters, is what I'm trying to say, but uh, gives you an idea of the strength of the competition around us. And uh, I moved my brake bags back a little bit further. I'm a little more daring with that. That's probably going to get me spun. In fact, I got a little bit loose during qualifying, so I am going to bump that up to, we'll say, 42. Before I had it on like 44, 45 or something, I think. So I went a little bit more down with it. Still really just trying to get some turn in the corner. In the corners. And uh, it got me a faster qualifying lap, but a worse start for what that's worth. So. Alright, we'll try this again. Maybe we'll try second gear this time. 30 laps. Let's make them count. 30 laps. Let's make them count. I guess the good thing about uh, this unofficial racing, getting used to the car and everything, uh, you can run it over and over again and get wrecked repeatedly, and uh, there are no penalties other than your pride. So I guess that's nice. So, let's see, second gear. Is that going to launch the car well enough? That should be fine, especially from the second row. We'll find out if I'm wrong. I think I recognize the 62 from... Nick's community. I think. I think he's a guy that runs a lot of like 87s and stuff. One left so to green. if that is him, good luck to him. And even if it's not, good luck to everybody. Hopefully we'll have ourselves a good clean race and uh, not die. <laughs> I believe. I'm not going to be overly harsh on anybody. Especially because I'm, I'm still probably really terrible in this car and everybody's still learning. Uh, I don't know if pulling out in front of somebody is something you really need to learn specific to this car, but <laughs> it's whatever. It's unofficial racing. Hopefully people are taking it seriously. The guy apologized and said he pressed the wrong button, whatever that means. 
Taking three wide, that guy's spinning. Okay. Let's see right in front of. You're good, I'm just glad we made it through that. Oh, guy in the wall. And again, glad we made it through that. I think that is the uh, guy from Nick's community. All the shenanigans are throwing me off. We've already got some weird lap traffic. That's that guy that pulled out in front of me right there. Oh my god, why did the thing snap on me like that? Holy cow. Dude, why is this guy going two miles an hour in the middle of the track? Clear <laughs> high. Good lord, man. I would like to practice driving the SRX, please. Why is this so dis <laughs> Why is this such a circus? Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Every time I'm like, alright, time to get into a rhythm, there's a car sideways in front of me. That lap was a 20.4. Are we good now? I think we might be good now. Tires got really hot having to slide around everywhere trying to dodge things. It's okay, kind of giving me a handful for a second. Oh god. I was about to say, I think we're okay now. And then that came over the radio. But, alright. See if we can make a pass. I think we might be a little bit faster than the 7 here. See if we can't find a way. That lap was at 18.9. Gets really loose down there at the bottom, which is crazy because it feels so tight otherwise. Really trying to get used to how this car wants me to drive it. We made it longer than 4 laps this time, by the way. Though they really tried, and apparently still are trying. Are stopped up high, allegedly. And guess we're good. Seven's kind of uh, hit a rhythm, I think. It's not holding me up at all. Backing into the track again. There's no excuse for that, for the car, I'm sorry. It doesn't matter what car you're in, you don't back in front of the field. <sighs> People get, like, so reckless with the unofficial racing, but, like, just because it's unofficial, like, you're supposed to try still. You're supposed to still follow the sporting code. We're still trying to have a fun race here. Car stopped up high. Slow car down low. Man, what's this guy gonna do? He's good, he's fine. Getting really loose on the exits of the corners. Maybe I have to migrate a lane higher. I remember Tracy was running a lane higher, but I can't get the car to turn very well up there. But now that maybe the tires are up to temp, there's a little bit more grip. I'm actually kind of feeling that right now. Did crash again, he's gassing it up. Alright, well that was the leader. So that sucks for him. Taken out by a lap car, presumably. Back in third. Keep hustling. Lost some ground to the guy ahead because he didn't have to break, I don't think. Car stop down low. How are there even enough people left to have cars stop down low? Okay, they were injured the bits. We're good, we're good. There's like no one left already. We're not even halfway through. This will be halfway through at the end of this lap. This thing is difficult to drive, though. I will say that. It's, uh, it wants to kind of snap mid-corner. It almost feels like it's getting on the right rear. It's kind of crazy given how tight the car started. 
Right, Colton, halfway home. We've got plenty Cold of fume, that was fantastic. The gap to over. Who, me? What? 1.1 seconds. Wait, did he say Colton? You've just done a 19.4. I thought he said Colton. That sounded very sarcastic, so... He might be confusing me with somebody else. Oh, the nine. Sorry. The time was at Got 19.4. Okay, I was wondering. I didn't think I did anything wrong, but... Slow car, download. Alright, yeah, he uh, was misidentifying. He sounds like the nine did something to him. P3. Slow car, download. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> There's like five people out here, and they're still. We still have to dodge people. Can we catch up to this, uh, number seven? Kinda got a push-pull going on right now, where suddenly I, I seem like I'm a little faster, but then he'll pull away a little bit. Okay. Do that. That was nothing. James out there uh, with a commanding lead. Not sure how I would get a pass done. I guess you would have to try to kind of get cut under at the exit, maybe get a run on out of the corner. We're close, we're close. That was a 19 point well, I entered a little bit high there. Oof. Lighten the rear tires up a little bit. Six laps to go. What can we do? Ooh, almost got a run on him there. Slow car download. Go down, down low. Low. Coming, Coming out of pits. Ooh, taking the defensive line, it looks like. Ooh, got too much of a run on him. I reached the rear end of him too quickly. Just trying to set it up, and I'm having trouble because this thing's so hard to drive. Don't want to pull my wheel too hard to the left and spin myself. So I've got to be smart about this. Running out of time, though. Outside. Nearly get Clear taken outside. out by a lap car. Two left to go. Please don't Two involve yourself in our race. We're having a really good battle here. Two laps left. We're on for a podium here. Inside. Just right. done 19.5. Or not. You just got the white flag. That means one more lap to go. Okay, Colton, one more to go. Keep it together, we'll be on the podium. I can't focus on the car in front. Car outside. Keep low. Stay low. Oh. Clear outside if you want it. Well done. Outside. Good battle, Seven. Good win, James. All right, there's the ticket flag. Thanks, I think. <laughs> Great job. You did really well. <laughs> 
You survived, that's worth applauding. <laughs> yeah, the leader got destroyed by a lap car. It was crazy. I, he flipped and I went under him. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. That kind of looked like what happened to me last race from second place. All right, 92.95, so that's interesting. So the car got really loose mid and late corner, kind of through the run, and even like started getting a little loose uh, entering the corner, but it was on the right front. So a little bit of disconnect from what I'm feeling in the car and from what the tires are saying, which is interesting. Um, I wonder if that's a tire heat thing. Maybe uh, tires getting hotter means we're sliding around more. But uh, despite what it said, he had 92.94. We had 92.95, so he was more on the right rear. But despite what it's saying, I was uh, definitely getting, having to fight it on exit and stuff. But P3 is not bad at all. Um, if this were uh, an official race, Race Lab estimates we would gain 13 I rating. So that's cool. And uh, we made it past lap four. So <laughs> in fact, we uh, finished all 30, which is awesome. So I'll definitely take that. That is way too loud for some reason. We're going to turn that down. And uh, we'll see what happened out here. Obviously, I didn't bother with the first race because we died immediately. Uh, that was the 3Y. That was kind of on me. Um, I had a bad start. I couldn't get the car to turn. Uh, it seems like it's with it so heavy, and I guess cold tires makes it hard to turn. But you see, he was kind of in that. I was kind of forced out to that third lane anyway. I think it's maybe a good thing I drove in a little higher up the track because James seemed to be kind of going to that second lane anyway. We just end up three wide, and that was bad for the rest of the field, I guess. I don't know. I guess, really, the, the 25 could have seen that it was too wide there, and... I don't know. No, the 8 kind of cut down. Yeah, the 8 pinches them pretty good there. I don't know who... That's, I don't think I can call that on anyone, though. That was just kind of like a result of the start being the way it was. I feel kind of bad for my part in it, being that I kind of entered a little bit high and was slow through the corner, which caused these guys to catch up to us, but I didn't really have anywhere else to go either. So, I don't know. I don't know what to, to say about that one, but that's like the whole field, which really sucks. So you see guys wrecking, and there's wrecks happening behind the wreck, I guess from people getting loose. <laughs> Massive destruction here. I don't know what this guy's doing. Like, why would why would you do that? He's just driving all over the track, sliding everywhere, running into everybody, continuing to do it. Second place, getting loose. Okay, I remember that. Is that happening? Twelve. Spinning it. These things definitely will spin on you, that's for sure. There's not too much downforce in them, I guess, is what that's all about. And so they will break loose on you. And I've noticed they're really susceptible to uh, heated tires, too. So if you have a slide, even if you correct it, the next time you enter the next corner, you might just be on ice. So it's one of those deals. We're seeing a whole lot of that. Guys are losing it on exit. 99 is going to get some apron. That's not going to help either. 27 still having issues. Is he going to back up into traffic? Yep. Here. Oh, nope. Yeah, there's we. <laughs> we almost, he almost got us. He was better about it that time, though, to be fair. At some point, you just have to understand that it's caution free racing so there's gonna be a little bit of that unfortunately speaking of unfortunate that guy exits his car but the uh, the collision box doesn't leave the track in time so the 25 is gonna crab walk <laughs> 49 getting through Massive wreck here. 
Looks like they both got loose. 69 almost goes over the wall. Got a little bit of bumper there, not much. That one's got a bad angle in the corner, gonna come up and get the 49 and that is gonna send him around. Fourteen gets loose, wrecks it. Forty-nine gets loose, wrecks it. I'm telling you, it's easy. You, you really gotta slow it down on the entry, or else if you're uh, carrying too much speed through the mid corner, it, I noticed it especially the later you got in the race as the tires heated up. I guess it's really easy for it to just kind of do that slow spin. And they're gonna do it again there, and this time correct into the wall and KO it. Five, losing it. So many self spins this race. Everybody's still learning. And uh, I guess that was it. All right. So I guess I, I kind of want to watch the last lap or two because we got close. I kind of feel bad like telling the 49, like, hey, <laughs> let us battle. Because I mean, I know it's an unofficial race, so maybe it should have been just like, okay, fine. But, um,. I'm really trying to learn like learn how to make a pass here and I felt like we had a really good battle going and uh, I could just tell by the way they were entering the corner they were just gonna run into the back of us and we weren't gonna be able to have a race so I was just like hey if you don't mind let us battle this out we're having a, a fun race here because I think it was like this corner yeah they nearly take me out entering way too hard revving it up really hard so I was trying to like do that like kind of cut down trying to get around an exit and it's like I can't do it right there because they come up and get to my inside it's a little frustrating we got uh, one to go coming up but I think I was on to something I think I just it just I couldn't quite get it developed in time You got loose there, which gave me an opportunity to get a run, and then uh, it's just, it's really hard to maneuver this thing the way I need. I got to the inside, which was really helpful, and I think if I had one more lap, maybe I have a chance, although he might have cleared me there. But uh, we, we made a good run at it, and uh, he raced us clean, gave us a room, so much better uh, experience than the first uh, attempt, so. All right, that'll do it for this one. Uh, I'm not going to bother with the uh, race results page, because none of it counts, but uh, counts in experience. A superstar racing experience, huh? <laughs> and uh, we finished third. Uh, have a nice little battle. So, all right. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I hope you enjoy the SRX if uh, you give it a run. It's uh, challenging, but I think it uh, could be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to running it more. All right. I'll see you next time.